Welcome back gang. Today I want to start working on notifications. So when a user sends a friend a post on their profile, I want them to get an email notification saying that they got, you know, that someone's posted on their page and it'll be in the database. So we'll be able to click on, we'll have a little notification icon in here and we'll eventually get to that but it'll display that a user sent a sent a message okay now in the laravel documentation there's tons of stuff that's usable to to be able to do this you can send them to the database you can create sms notifications slack notifications all sorts of different things so it's really you know it's it's pretty broad what you can do so the one we're going to be looking at is the markdown mail notifications Okay, and what we're going to essentially do is just, we'll copy this and it'll make us a new notification with an email uh, template. Okay, so let's, let's go to our code and paste that in. So we'll go to a new terminal and we'll change this to someone posted. That'll be the name of the notification. And then it'll be in the folder of mail. And then, uh, then it'll be in another folder for post. So in case you want to create something else in the post or involving posts, you can also put it in that folder. So this one, we're just going to put posted. Okay. So we'll press enter and let that build. And now that that's done, you can see we have a couple of folders in here. So the first one is the notification folder. And this is the actual notification, which we'll customize in a bit. But the first one that we'll be using is called to mail. Okay. Um, in here, in the public function via notifiable is where you would make additions to what you would want. So if you want to add the database, notifications in here you would put that in here if you wanted to add or add the um, broadcast notifications we'll add that in here we're going to be using those later on but for now we're, this is just going to be a basic setup okay um, the other thing that I wanted to look at was the resources views mail posts app no I'm sorry the mail posts posted blade this is going to be what the user actually sees in their email. Okay, and we'll be taking a look at that in a bit too. The first thing I want to do is set up our mail trap. Okay, so if you go to your web browser and you go to mail trap, you can, this is a free account. You can use, I think it's the max emails that you can have at any given time. I think it's something like 50 before it maxes out, um, which it's perfect for development. All you need to do is just delete a bunch of them and then you can keep using them keep using it okay so the one we want to look for is laravel okay and these are our, our credentials for the laravel i'm just going to copy those and we're going to put them in the dot env file so dot env file now before laravel 8 this was uh, this this new default mailer is now MailHog, but it used to be MailTrap. So all we have to do is just change that since that's what we'll be using. Now, these are my credentials. You could go ahead and try to use them, but I'll never get it, so it doesn't really matter. And just for your own personal knowledge, if you ever wanted to change those, you could also come in here and reset your credentials um, if you don't want anybody using that information. But again, it doesn't really matter because these emails don't go anywhere. This is just a, a fake mailbox. So there are two more lines that I want to add to our .env file, which I like to use. Um, and all it is is just also adding the default mail from name. So it'll be our app name, which is up here, social network. And then 
as the default from address. It's just going to be contact at socialnetwork.com. None of this exists, of course. So you would want to set this up however you want to set it up. If you put it into production, you'll need a real email account. And depending on what you're doing and which email you're using, if it's Gmail or anything like that, then you would have to change the credentials for that. I might do a video on that at another point in time, but um, it's not going to be a part of this series. So for now, this is what it is. The next thing I want to do is um, we can close this one. And for now, we can close this one is I want to work on the mailable. Okay. So we need to add in some information to this in order to be able to send it to a user. So if we go all the way up top under use queuable, we're going to need a property. And this is going to be a public property because we need to use it in other functions in this page. So public user. Okay. We'll pass that in. We'll, we'll pass in this user from the controller in a second. So we're going to go ahead and also add user to the construct method and then we're going to say this user equals user so then we want to scroll down and we'll keep this as just mail for right now we'll change it a bit later and then we'll come down to to mail okay and we're going to change this up a bit so we'll keep return new mail message markdown because this is the template for the um the blade file okay and right here we're going to add a comma and we're going to open up some brackets okay then we need to pass in the user equals user uh sorry this user and this is this is the this user that we're passing in from up here okay and we don't need this here we can just put a comma um okay and that's it for this page so let's go ahead to the post controller post controller And we then head up to the store method. And in this function here, in this check that we have, this is the one where the auth user ID does not equal the request and we are friends. Okay. So if you come under the post, we can create a new variable and we'll call it user. So user equals user where id equals data user underscore id and then we'll be looking for the first one okay the reason we're making this a variable is because we need to pass this into our someone posted notification Okay, so if we go under that, we can say user notify, and it'll be new, someone posted, that's the name of our, of our notification, and then in here we need to pass in that user, and we also need to pass in the auth user. Okay. So let's make sure that we import the user and the someone posted. So import all classes. Okay. Models user. And that should be good. Okay. So to review that real quick, the user that we're creating here, this variable, is the same user that's the requested user ID. Okay. And that's who we're going to be sending. That's who we're going to notify that someone has posted. So we're passing in the user and we're also passing in the authenticated user. And that user is what's being passed into here. Okay. So let's see if we can 
make this work. So if we refresh our page, we're, right now we're in the friends page. So we'll go to a user that is our friend and we'll post something on their page. So blah, blah. Okay. We'll click post. Okay. So it was sent. Hasn't shown up here because we sent a notification. So let's check our mailable. And there it is. Someone posted. Okay. So now it's from social network. This is the email that we put in as the default. And this is the user we sent it to. That's their, that's their email. And this is what the email looks like. Introduction, the body of your, of your message. So let's, let's go ahead and change this. Okay, so we'll go back to our code. And then we'll open up the view, which is, um, I already don't remember the name. Okay, posted. Okay. Uh, we can get rid of, well, let's change this to someone posted. Okay. In here, we are going to add two stars. Um, this is, this hashtag and these stars, they're just part of the, um, styling. So these are bold and, oh, someone posted. So it's bold and it just gives it different classes in the component. And that, that's in the documentation as well for the notifications. It'll show you how to make, how to customize the, um, the components that are in there. So the mail, you can change the color, you can do all sorts of things with it. Okay, so uh, this will be someone posted, and then we'll make curly braces, and now we can start using that variable that we're sending in. So user, username, and then we'll put two more stars. You also want to make sure that this is flush. Um, it's right up against the end of the, it's right up against this um, at the very end. It's just funny about the styling. So has posted on your timeline. Okay. Um, so the component we can keep the same. The, or, the URL, we're going to change that to route dashboard index. Okay. And for the button, we're just going to say go see what they wrote and it's going to be thanks and the config app name and that's just the name of our of our app which we already set up in the .env file okay so now let's try this and see if we can get that so we'll come back we'll refresh and we'll add blah blah to post Notification has been published and we'll come to our mail. Someone posted. And so now you see someone posted. Vulgar is posted on your timeline. Go see what they wrote. And if you click that, it goes back to your dashboard page. Okay. So we'll close that up and we'll head back here. Okay. And if you notice, it's also not being displayed here yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and fix that. So just like we did with the dashboard and the posts, we need to do that to this page as well. So we'll go ahead and in the, well, let's grab it from the dashboard first. So dashboard. Um, we're going to grab the computed. And then we'll go to user profile show and we'll add the computed here okay so all post equals this posts and then we'll go up to the pagination I mean the um, the component and then we'll add pagination equals pagination so that should 
fix that. Um, we can close this. Okay, let's come back and refresh. And it'll be blah, blah, three. Post. Okay, so it's been sent and it displays. I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. In the next episode, we're going to start building out the notifications with the icon, and then we're going to set up the drop down um, and start being able to see our notifications in here. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and push this code up to GitHub. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.